It's Tracy and Noel. They're gonna make you LOL on 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. Hello and welcome to 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. I'm Tracy. I'm your host. Hi. <laughs> and that's Noel. She's the other host. Hello. Okay. Amazing. Uh, I'm just happy that this is over. We're here to talk about 90 Day Fiance Season 9, Episode 19. This is the tell all part two. It's finally happening. It's fine. This is what we've been praying for for months. <laughs> I have been praying to many different gods uh, just to make this end. But also this next one that's coming up looks fun. Yes. We'll be much, complaining halfway through it. I'm going to be complaining <laughs> probably episode two. Yeah. Uh -huh. But we're here. 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk episode 187. How did that one eight, happen? 187. On a uh, flop. <laughs> if you guys know, you know. Uh, I'm happy to be here with you, Noel. If you guys want to hear more of us, go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast where you can find all of our bonus episodes, including our favorite podcast, BS, where we just kind of like we... uh Yes. <laughs> and then also unexpected trash talk. And I was I was thinking about doing the single life over there. OK, I'm so I'm so into that. When does the new season start? It's I believe September 8th. OK, yeah. So, I mean, maybe come over there and see what happens. Yeah, there's a bunch of returning people, including Mama Deb. I am pretty pumped. She's my favorite. Uh, so this is season nine, episode 19, the tell all part two. This episode has been brought to you by BetterHelp. Who's ready to jump in the pool? I'd say Noelle's ready. I don't like doing the the reunions because it's hard to take notes on it. I know because it is so much bouncing back, and, back forth. and forth. I and know. Back and forth, but and then um, it's a lot of like just BS observing. They're sitting there eating lunch. You know, oh my God. it's like, what do you want me to take notes on? Which kind right. of sandwich they're eating? Right. Which I would was like not to know more about the food. I would like to know more about the food for sure. Uh, so we open with Jabri and John. They're finishing their sparkles fight. It's just so dumb. It is so dumb, but also like I can't stop looking like when Jabri stands up with his whole outfit on. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And but I love how Miona's dress like is a nod to his suit. They always do that, though. OK, so in 1997, I had a friend who had a halter top made of the same material as Miona's dress. Mm -hmm. And I will never it was my favorite color in the whole world. And I will never forget it. OK, I mean, listen, I was at a party last night and a mother and her daughter were matching in the exact same dresses. It was very cute. Yeah, sure. But it's kind of like it was what? the ice capades or it was Why a dance we? recital. It, it was definitely dance recital. Okay. That was the thing. I yeah. can't wait to see the pictures. So um, <laughs> I like so Jabri is like trying to tear John apart and he's going at Patrick about it. Right. And he's like, Patrick, isn't he lonely? Isn't he the worst? Isn't and like Patrick's not really like I don't know is this do you think he's like just trying to like make it stop by well, ignoring just, him yes I feel like why are you talking shit about my brother right but he you doesn't know, say like, that he just lets him talk I think that but that's kind of seems what Patrick's been doing with everyone at the tell all kind of right. like yeah okay you're a joke you're a joke you're a joke Ball's right a salesman you know it's just right. he kind of just brushes it off his shoulder so but what is Jibby's problem I don't know. But Patrick said that John isn't lonely too much. He's like, yeah, he's not he's not he's not that bad. And then uh, Thais, Thais, uh -huh. Thais, whatever Thais uh, said that John is too involved in their relationship. So she's siding with Jabri. Oh, yeah. No, she is so happy because she doesn't like John. She didn't like John from before she moved to America. I guess so. You know, so it's like, oh, someone's siding with me. Anybody who doesn't like John is a friend of mine. Oh, man. If I was Patrick, I would have kicked her so hard. But me too. I'd kick. have been like, shut up. Yeah. I mean, just like a little playful kick. Like, not that hard. I would have right, done it very lightly. Is, if someone was talking about my brother in law on stage, like, I don't care who it is. Like, I have to have his back. Right. Either you ignore yeah. it or you say nothing, but don't yeah. feed into him. So uh, now Jabri doesn't want to go back out with John if John's going to be on stage. So because he's, he's afraid of him. He's scared. Uh huh. But they John don't bring would John back whoop out. Whoop his ass. Because I think they they followed his wishes. Not right. followed his wishes. You know what I mean? <laughs> so John also just turned 39. Huh? I, I can see that. I like John. Bring Jabri him back. said that he will put him on the single life. Uh, I heard a rumor. Um Ooh. Jabri said that he will knock him off. Okay. What does that mean exactly? You're like gonna knock uh, the dust off of his weenus. What does that oh, mean? Well, maybe he's gonna make him like um 
like how they knock off bags on uh in Chinatown on Canal Oh, Street. okay. I like those. He's gonna make like a knockoff John, maybe like a blow up doll John. Oh, okay, a blow up version of John. Yeah. So now John says something very, very real. He's like, hey, if you're gonna give it, you have to be able to take it. So Jabri has something to say about every single person on the stage. Yes. But if anyone says anything to him, he cries. He is a baby. He He's he such really a baby. is. He's such a baby. Well. Kenny and Tim find John in a cubicle farm that they have turned into <laughs> hair and makeup. What was that? It was there's like offices, I guess, that are not being used. So they yeah. made it into hair and makeup. It was like boiler room. It was so weird. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. what my every job I've ever had looks like. Tracy, I was going to say this is like what I remember when your brother used to work at these places. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Like because it's just a random office job for a guy. Yeah, but no, but places. see, like the, every no, actually, every office job that I've worked in, I've had this cubicle. Um, and then, you know, the best part about these cubicles, well, the worst part probably is that uh, you can't really put push pins in. So you can't put like pictures up. Uh -huh. But There's these things where there's two. Um, it's like a clip and then it has two pins in it. And what you do is you pierce it through the fabric and then you could use the clip to clip pictures on. And that's the only thing I was thinking of the whole time. But what divides them? I don't even know. What do you I've mean? never had a cubicle in my life. Oh, so it's like, just why like, can't you use a push pin? Oh, because it's like metal and fabric. So what you have to do is you have to catch oh, the thing on the fabric. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's I a did, really I never fun knew that. Okay. Cubicle life, cubicle life. So John is in the I cubicle. I bet you used to decorate the hell out of your cubicle. I did. Of course you did. Oh, it's so <laughs> much fun. So that was the best part of my job. And then <laughs> <laughs> if people saw me taking down my decor, they knew things were not going well. They're like, oh, she's not well today. <laughs> she's one time. So I also, um, you know, I have a problem with organized religion and I yes. was decorating for Christmas, okay. but I decided really? to do it. With, yeah. I, well, I used to decorate my cubicle for Christmas because I had like well, at one of my jobs. I had the biggest cubicle in the office. <laughs> I'm not trying to brag. And I'm sure you would see people at the water cooler like, guess who's got the biggest cubicle in the office? No, they knew. Oh, they knew because I would decorate it wildly. Well, I was thinking that too. I'm like, it's probably like flashing lights, strobe <laughs> lights. <laughs> Lady no, Gaga so blasting. I did, wait, I did this one thing during Christmas. So I had this giant wall behind me uh -huh. and it was like kind of square. It was like kind of jetting out from the window. Mm -hmm. So I made the entire wall. I covered it with wrapping paper and I made a giant bow and I made it like it was a big gift. I love that. I did that. And then I wouldn't use traditional Christmas colors. Uh -huh. So I used um, purple and blue. I like it. And I did garland. I did... um stockings for each one of my construction managers okay. and i wrote their name in glitter glue mm -hmm. yeah no i did the whole thing i love that and then one day i took it all down listen when you like something you do excel at it thank you so much you do i really tried to so this is where they found john um kenny and tim found him in the hair and makeup cubicle farm and uh i'm bored i'm bored why are we doing this why I are don't we doing know. this oh what is the point of this it's like also they talked to him for three seconds and then it's over Thais thanks Jabri. Yeah, she's like, thank you, anybody who's mean to John. Okay, so now Sparkles calls John trailer trash. Uh-huh. And Jabri's like, what? They're from a trailer, right? Patrick, you're from a trailer. Uh -huh. You're from a trailer. Why does no one say? I guess it's kind of like, okay, whatever, but it's just Jabri. So, I, well, I think nobody wants to engage with Jabri, mm -hmm. but I feel like if I was there, like, Listen, I'm not very confrontational, but I would have been like, Jabri, shut up. Yeah. Like, why is nobody shut up. telling him? Shut Your mother up. is Sally Jesse Raphael. Stop. Your mother doesn't even like you. She's not even there. She declined coming because she doesn't like you. How about that? <laughs> so Ari said that Jabri mm -hmm. was bullying uh, who? I don't know. Her herself. Her. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yes, mm -hmm. was bullying. So now we have to watch a video of Scarlett's birth. Why? I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and then we see the family pictures. OK, I love their family photo shoot. Uh, no, me too. Emily and Kobe. Me too. I look at them on Instagram and I'm like, this is so nice. They're very, very cute. Uh -huh. um, and then Kobe said that he didn't love the birth because he doesn't like blood. OK, same. But, you know, blood is water. thicker than water. Listen, I love that Emily started crying. 
Yes, that was cute. So she yeah. also freeze dried her placenta because she says, now, I don't know how true this is. Yeah. Um, and I need someone to fact check this for I, me. I was going to ask you. Tell okay. Me. I don't know, because they said the placenta is full of hormones and you're retaking your own hormones. Um, can we have a fact check on that? Go to 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk on Facebook. It's a Facebook group. And I need a fact checked on, on the reason why you take your placenta. I thought it was just like protein or whatever they said Me it too. was um so Carol crazy was, likes the texture of freeze-dried i just want to put this out i there. do if you it do. tastes like space ice cream i will have a bite <laughs> of placenta it's true <laughs> i don't think they have the same flavor but if they can make vanilla freeze-dried placenta i'd eat it i'll I'd have a bite I'll, yeah i'll try it i like it or if they could make it like strawberries and i could put it on my cereal okay that <laughs> That would be nice. I do like freeze dried strawberries on my cereal. I could see that. Mm -hmm. That I could see. Yeah. You got me a bunch of freeze dried fruit for my birthday one year. I did. I ate them all. I know. You like freeze dried. You always have. I remember we would go to Walgreens when we were younger and you would get freeze dried fruit. And I'm like, this is your snack of choice. That was my snack. The pears. They're delicious. And I'm like, this is your snack. I'm here with the biggest symphony bar I've ever seen. (laughs) I love a good freeze dried fruit. I like that they're not sweetened. I love it. I love everything about it. Um, Now, she did mention that some people do cook it at home because Kara yeah. was like, um, I would definitely look into the placenta freezing and Guillermo doesn't want Kara to cook the placenta in his kitchen. Okay. I hear you, Guillermo. Courtney Kardashian faked her whole family out by pretending that she fed them all placenta and everybody like flipped out. That's funny. It wasn't even placenta. It was very funny. It was a good episode. <laughs> that is very funny. Uh-huh. I feel like I made this with breast milk and placenta. Right. Because she was like, everybody, let's eat placenta. And she's like, who wants to taste my breast milk? And yeah, she's very, she's very silly. <laughs> I love them. Well, <laughs> now that I don't feel good. Um, <laughs> uh, a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Okay. It can be very tough to train your brain to stay in problem solving mode, Noel, mm-hmm. when you're faced with a challenge in life. Yes. But when you learn how to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. And that's what it is. That's what therapy is all about. It's about finding your own tools. That is true. A therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. Mm-hmm. Now, I think that if you have the tools in your tool belt, you can really move forward with a lot of different problems in your life. Absolutely. And you get a lot from trying therapy. Mm-hmm. Um, I've seen a lot of benefits in my own life going to therapy because I think that I could deal with things a little bit better. And you look at things from a different point of view. Well, that is my favorite part about therapy. I look at things like from someone else's point of view exactly. or like behind the scenes. Ooh. Mm-hmm. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. You can get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists at any time. I love that. I've done that. I've done it more than once. And I was nervous the first time. Yeah, it was so easy. It really just, was just a click of a button. I was you like, don't have to am I going to offend it. someone? Do I have to tell someone? No. no. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash fiance today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash fiance. And as always, that'll be in the show notes. All right. All right. Well, uh, now that I'm feeling stronger. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Emily and Kobe haven't had sex in a month. Thank you for bringing this into uh, a public discussion. I was actually wondering that. But this is what they do with everything. I don't care. Is I don't it Sean? Care. See, if I was Sean and I read the script or I read the outline or whatever, I'd be like, I'm not doing this. I know you would. You would. But I also, would. I, I don't care about it. And they'd be like, Sean, you not. have to do this. And I'd be like, OK, watch me not. I was just going to say, watch me not. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Because I'm not going to do that. This is weird. It's it, you're trying to push something. It's weird. Yeah. So uh, Kobe also doesn't want to take chances on getting her pregnant again. I don't know if you've heard. She won't take birth control or maybe he doesn't want her to. There's tons of different forms of birth control. I don't know if you've heard the good news. I know, but (laughs) I don't think that he is interested in any form of birth control. Okay. Um, So abstinence, they say it's 100 percent. It is 100 percent. It's not positive. It's positive. It's positive. (laughs) Um, And then Shida's like, well, why don't you ask Bilal how not to get uh, her pregnant because she won't get Shut me pregnant. Shut up, to Go away. I don't even need to see you anymore. You're nasty. Okay, so now annoying. what do you think about this argument? So Bilal said that he wants more kids eventually, and he was the one who had to convince Shida 
to want more kids eventually. Well, because he said before she didn't want to have kids. Okay. But she says no. And he goes, okay, Shida. Right. Because he had mentioned before when I met Shida, she did not want to have children. Okay. And now she's saying that's not true. I believe that. I know that it sounds like I'm standing Bilal. I'm not. She is very unlikable to me. Oh, for sure. But what do you think? Like, I think that it's true just because he was like, okay, yes. Well, that's why I think it's true because she got so like so defensive so quickly. And he was just like, okay, you know, believe what you want. Let's that's fine. Now we're going to go on to a problem that's not real. Emily wanting a night with Kobe before he met Coben. Now we're going to. That was annoying, though. It was annoying, but like, you don't think that there was something else behind that. And they tried to make that the first, like the airport's probably pretty far away. Well, that's the thing. Airport's probably far away. She probably never gets to be by herself. Maybe like, who knows? Maybe the kid was sick, you know, whatever it is. That's what I'm saying. There's definitely right. a reason that they're not telling us. Yeah, they agree. want us to think that this is like, she just needed him not to meet his he son. Sex so yeah. badly. Right. Yeah. So sure. now we see uh, even her squad. And you know what? Muhammad is right on this because he was like, he sh- they know I'm conservative. So they wanted to show their boobs to see if they could break me. He's right. And I do like that. He's like, if you wanted to get to know me, ask me about me. Thank Why you. Are you asking me? And he is right. As much as I don't like him, he is He's right. right. So yep. Tatiana comes out and uh, Muhammad's like, hey, listen, you could talk about sex all you want. I don't want to talk about my personal sex life. Yes. What's the problem with that? There's nothing wrong with that. And apparently they all studied together, but it wasn't sex, they but it was something. studied tantra. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. That's great. That's okay. cool. I don't That's care. Cool. So now they discuss Yves. Right. Dragging her feet about the paperwork. Okay. But it's, you know, I was thinking about that, too. But I'm like, it probably is like 100 pages of paperwork. And right, like nobody wants to do it. Didn't we read online that she just didn't file her taxes? Yes. And that's yes. why it was really mm-hmm. okay. So uh, they're soul sisters. They're they're more than just. Um, oh, they're more than friends. just friends or soul sisters. Oh, cool. You're cool. Mm-hmm. And now, Noel, mm-hmm. we come to lunchtime. OK, but what is everybody eating? It looked like Shida had mozzarella balls. Really? Yeah. In a little container. Oh, yeah. So maybe they just went to the deli downstairs. It looked very deli forward. Yeah, it was probably a delicatessen yeah. area lunch. I like deli. It looked like everyone chose their own adventure. Choose your own adventure. That's my favorite type of game. <laughs> I feel so anxious. Isn't this fun? Guys, live on camera. <laughs> Um, oh. yeah, no, it's great. Everything's fine. So that's Everything's good. good. Uh huh. So, uh, Tatiana wants to talk to Mo again after he already hugged her on stage. He already was like, Hey, listen, sure. I respect I you. Great. Whatever you want me to do. She's now, really poking him. She is. But I love how Muhammad ever since he had that one conversation with his mom, he's like, nothing is going to shake. Nothing's going to rattle me. Yeah. He's like, I'll I, flash you. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you want. Yeah. So they now have Binyam and Ariella talk about Avi. Uh, and I love that Binyam said, quote, he's doing circus. I OK, I was going to ask you what that was. too. he's like, he's doing Taekwondo. He's doing circus. I I'm love like, circus. What does that mean? He, um, so is he I playing tiger. Like, what is he he's doing? The tiger. And unfortunately, he did bite his tiger trainer <laughs> who uh, Ariella was doing tiger trainer. Oh, OK. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he he bit her right in the face. Right. Oh, OK. That's why reconstructive that surgery. explains things. Yada, yada, yada. Reconstructive surgery. OK. Yeah. I you heard it here first. OK. Good to know. Yeah. So if you're listening like the Ashley or us weekly or what are the other ones? Uh, the OK. Sun. OK. Magazine. OK. Um, magazine. Yes, that is true that Avi was playing circus. He was doing circus and um, Ariella was doing lion trainer. And he, <laughs> he did uh, he bite bit her, her in the face. And she needed reconstruction lip surgery. Right. Mostly uh-huh. lip. Lipiotomy. She had a lip <laughs> and a buddy out. He also bit her in the butt. <laughs> he had a buttectomy. <laughs> so um, I, I can't stand with her fake accent. I don't understand what it's about. She is struggling to uh, pronounce words at this point. She is. In her lip it's, journey. It's so weird. But she's just like. This is like when the great. monkey. He's moody like me. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is like, do you remember that woman? Was she on Oprah when her husband shot her in the face, like point blank with a shotgun and she yeah. had to get a face transplant? Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. This is very similar. So she's probably having to go to like speech therapy and stuff to learn how to talk again. Okay, maybe. So let's just uh, support her in her journey. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to support healing. Ari and her. Ari, not Ari. 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 I don't know Ari. what her name you is. You were right. Okay, no, you were right. Yeah, I was right. Um, so Binyam has been going to Vegas a lot for MMA and the Ethiopian community in Vegas. Who knew? So Muhammad's like, well, he's an adult and he could choose where he wants to live. And listen, it seems like Ariella likes the idea of him living she there. Loves yeah. not being with him. Yeah. She's like, okay, they, you do they like there. each other? Mm, maybe though. That's your idea of a perfect marriage, no? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you would love that. You'd, but then like, I don't live, want the you live in Ethiopia. I'll live here. Yeah. And then like I block you. And there's no kids. <laughs> right. But that's the only thing that the kid. Um, I might even be in a relationship with a man in Ethiopia right now, but I haven't blocked and I would never know. Oh, you know? OK. See, I don't know about the blocking. What's the part of what's the point of that? I mean, obviously something was going on. She's just like, no, I just wanted to like just to, for fun. But for basically, fun. she's like, I wanted to prove a point like because he did that to me. OK, that's a fun game that you play in your marriage. You remember when um you uh, changed all the locks in the house and didn't let Matt come home for three months? Right. LOL. Remember when Jibri told you that you play games and you don't like your husband? You guys aren't going to last. Maybe he wasn't wrong. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Right. So um, Jibri is like, yeah, they're not going to last. They're going to split up, blah, 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 blah. OK, but the thing is, Jibri's like everyone here is going to stay together except for Ariella and, and, Binyam Binyam. and Bilal and Shido. Yeah, that was a weird one. It's so like, you don't think I like Muhammad I like how he has Eve. No, he has. He knows his gut is always right. Well, he's right. He's Muslim in his soul. He He's, understands him. He has uh-huh. a Muslim gut. Right. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> Ari was in uh, Ethiopia for three months because she was helping with like refugee camps. Yeah, I guess and, she was like volunteering. Right. But she took Avi with her. That's the part I don't understand. She said, oh, I was bringing him to see family. OK, so, so the sisters bring him to see Wish and Mimi. What family? Your family? Ariella, your family. Okay, also, how, was he doing circus while he was there? Or? But that's what I mean. It's so weird. And she's like, basically, it's like she wanted to expose him to, to that. But I think he's only like two or three. Maybe he's a little young for that. Yeah, but he needs to get a job. That's right. Thing. Okay, that's what it is. Well, she doesn't want to get one. So she's like, uh, Avi, you're going to have to get a circus job soon. Uh huh. Right. <laughs> you're going to have to get better at tigering. Yeah. Avi. Yeah. And he's like, Mom, why do you only feed me raw carcass? <laughs> he's like, I have four teeth. It is so hard to <laughs> chew. It's mostly bone. <laughs> and he's like, watch this. And then he bit her in the face and yada, yada, yada. Oh, yada. so that's the origin story of the yes, bite. OK, he good. was hungry. So um, she said that she's a lot and uh, Binyam's annoying. OK, I mean, I can but see I, it. I do enjoy that. She told him she was going to be gone for one week. Uh-huh. And then three months later. Um, but can you imagine if Binyam did that? No, I can't imagine yeah. if anyone did that. This is weird. Yeah. Uh, she said that she blocked him, but he didn't notice. Okay. Also, why didn't he go to Ethiopia? He can't. He was MMAing. Oh, OK. Because I'm like, wouldn't you have? She did to it go? to get away from him. Yeah, it's so weird. Well, Jabri and Miona are living in Palm Springs. Beautiful, by the way. Now, how are uh, they affording a place in Palm Springs? They probably have like someone's pool house they're probably like renting right. someone's pool house right so maybe they're living the u.s they're gonna be creative nomads okay cool you're so cool you don't create anything you're not in a band anymore uh-uh. so what are you doing nothing what are you just creating arches they're creating tiktoks that's okay, what they're well, creating they're doing it so um jibri said here's a quote ready yeah i'm so glad you jumped on this red carpet with me does he mean like the red carpet like at an event or like Aladdin. He's very stupid. I think both. He's very okay. stupid. He's not smart. So he said that he hasn't seen his parents in six months and they would not come to the tell all. But David comes. David is like a jerk, kind of. No. OK, but this is the other part. And we get a little bit of his side of it. So he comes and he said that Jabri didn't even invite him to the wedding. And he said that uh, Jabri hid Miona. Like he started dating her and then like stopped talking to them. Right. Which is listen. And then just eloped. So I'm wondering if the the rumors are true that they were married already. Right. Or if they're just because nobody was invited to their wedding. Right. 
there too in Joshua Tree. Who knows? Right. But I do feel for him because I feel like that's your best friend and Jibri just stopped talking to him. But, that's but I what also I'm just saying, feel so- like there's a better approach. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. So Miona said that she's not responsible for breaking the group up. Um, but this is the only thing she said the whole tell all. Yes, but I agree with her. If he chose to not be in the bands anymore and and then Kobe was like, no, it was your fault. And he's like, and but then Kobe even agrees. Like if Miona's like, if it wasn't me, it would have been someone else. He just didn't want to be in the band and he's using me as an excuse. I guess. I don't know. I don't well, know. Kenny calls her Yoko Ono. I think that's so true and so funny. I love that. <laughs> so Jabri wants David to admit that he was wrong, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So he's like, sure, maybe I was wrong about her. So right. they hug. Um, I love you. I love you. No more comas. Sure. Okay, right. Great. Right. Coma no more. Right. <laughs> comma, 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 comma. <laughs> so now Tim. Let's discuss Tim. Okay. Tim looks like he went to Hot Topic to uh-huh. prepare for a concert that he was going to take one of his children to. Yes. But he really wanted to fit in. He wanted to go to like a My Chemical Romance concert. He was going to like uh-huh. a Marilyn Manson concert. But yes. he was like, Let's make it cute. Yes. I need leather pants. I need uh, over boots. the knee boots. Yeah. I don't really understand what those boots were about. They're he got like, the are they leather pants or are they sparkle pants? They're sparkle purple leather pants. Okay. Good. Just checking. I would be sweating to death in knee high boots and leather. Pants. I would need an inside the pants air conditioner. But that, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's a lot of it's a lot of layers. Fun. Yeah. A lot of non-breathing layers. Yes. I hope he used a deodorant. on Ew, his you caps. know, his ball smelled so bad. <laughs> After that, sorry. Okay, I, I maybe mean, I can't say it, but I'm sorry. You're <laughs> pretending that that's what's going on there. But anyway, <laughs> Emily's parents come and they right. still support them 100% financially, but they have a plan. Okay, good to know they have a plan. And then Sean's like, thank you so much for agreeing. Do you want me to show you why Jabri's parents did not agree on coming right. on this? She's like, anyway, how's your daughter said that she has not been having relations with her husband. Have you been having relations with your husband? And then Jabri's parents are like, yeah, see, see, yeah, I just got shot. That's what that felt like seeing that. And her the dad says, mom is so pretty. So pretty. The dad yeah. says our house is soundproof. So now they flash funny. back to her pumping in the living room. Right. Uh, why are, why are we doing this though? Her dad's in the kitchen. Yeah. She's pumping under her shirt. What's the yeah. problem? Why are we doing this? Like, what does it matter? And then it's like, oh, do you think she was pumping for too long? Raise your hand. Too yeah. Long? Raise your hand if you have a problem. It's like, stop. So now um, Kobe said that he doesn't want to share breasts with his son. Right. And he, he said something very funny. He said that Kobe was old enough to manage his own affairs. <laughs> <laughs> I really like Kobe. Uh huh. <laughs> I know he's going to join the circus with okay, Bobby. But- Ariella, is this one? Is this when she says it? No. I, or did I not write it down? Well, when her, she says mom, that. So Emily's mom said that she wants uh, we should normalize breastfeeding, which is right. But Ariella says that she gives her kid her. OK, as a pacifier. Thank you. Okay. That's what I wanted to talk. OK, about. I want to talk about this, too. OK. Is there milk involved? I don't think so. That's what okay. I'm saying. OK. I Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's like, even though he's not eating, okay. it's just to like. Shut him up, basically. Okay. You, you know, they make pacifiers for that, right? Mm-hmm. They make iPads for that, Ariella. <laughs> yeah, but have you ever sucked on an iPad? It's I've like, gotten electrocuted. What? This is why. <laughs> but you know what I mean? What? Your pacifier? I had to go to the Apple store and they were like, why is there more damage? Wrong. I was like, I don't know. I just. Uh. I would just do what they told me. Yeah. Well, uh huh. That's what I needed to know about. Okay. Um, I also wanted to know about that. So now she okay. gets mad at Jabri because Jabri was making fun of Binion because he was talking about boobs. Right. But Ariella was like, just because his language isn't first. Uh, and it's like, no, Ariella, you speak like your language isn't first. Well, that's first. the thing. Ariella, you speak Binion's like a, fine. a heavier accent, accent, accent than. Binyam does. I'm yeah, having seriously. problems. Here. No, you're fine. Uh-huh. Everything's fine. Out. Uh-huh. Okay. So um, then we talk about the private gift that we can't talk about. So that's fine. Right. So Kobe's like, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. So okay. what's the point of this? So now uh, Tim and Kenny, are they like supposed to be the fairy godmothers of this? Yes. Episode? Or like a pillow talk, but it's not funny. It's not good. Yeah. So now uh, 
<laughs> I like how Emily Tim doesn't want to be touched. I love that. I know. He was like, ah, oh, he's a hugger. I'm not. Yes. I'm a shaker. <laughs> so he's a mover and a shaker. So Emily said that Jabri did not make any sense. That was very funny. Yeah. Um, he was like belligerent. Yes. Uh, Tim will not hug. And now they talk about Binyam and his sisters in that situation. And Binyam also mentioned, I mean, listen, you should have stood up for her. Like, this is terrible. Right. But it's also like, why do we have to keep bringing this up? We why are we bringing keep, that was everything like four up. seasons ago? Yeah. So now Binyam said that Avi brought them together, basically saying like they wouldn't be married if it wasn't for Avi. Yeah. Yeah. But I think Ariella acknowledges that too. Yeah. But Jabri makes all of the faces at that. Oh, God. And he's laughing at them. They're giggling at each other. And it's like, oh, you're perfect. He's perfect. You're perfect sparkles. Are you perfect. <laughs> so uh, Jabri is making so many faces and now it's over and everyone's wearing slippers. Yeah, I like that. I, I love like, that. Oh, they it's have like, the fuzzy crisscross slippers on. Yes, I think that we need to normalize in this world more comfortable shoes. OK, I have on a new pair of slippers today. They're very, very comfortable. Oh, thank you. They look mm-hmm. very nice. I just want to show them to you. No, thank you. Let's wear them outside. I'm so anxious. OK, well, we're almost finished. That's OK. Um, do you think you're anxious? Because you've discovered text messages shortly after the tell all. OK, those text messages, too. It's like I remember how when do I you read even, them. I know. How do you even deny? You know, when I was reading it online, I wasn't 100 percent if this was real. Right. Obviously, fabricated. Real. Right. That's why I was like, I don't really know. I'm not going to post about this. Sure. I'm not really sure. Well, but now seeing them, it's like mm. Muhammad met this girl online and he said that he thought they were friends. But things got bigger after that. Right. So basically they started sexting. after Right. That. And uh-huh. he was. But, but it wasn't. See, here's the thing. It wasn't even that it was. He was making concrete plans yeah, to marry like, her and I'm, get away from her. The, I'm going to call a legal, lawyer. Right. Yeah. He wasn't like, I want to kiss you on your mouth. I would be more upset by what he was doing. Agreed. Because he's like, as soon as I get my green card, yes. I'm out of here. Yes, Ooh, exactly. So now so hard. he said that uh, he apologizes and he loves her and he's trying to fix it. He's no, pretend you, crying all the way. I love that for him. Yeah. Um, I really like that. He. um is lying and also mm-hmm. he was calling you his sponsor well that's the thing and it's like and the other uh, girl's like oh i can't wait to meet you in person i can't wait to be in bed with you it's like you're a scumbag you yeah suck. but that wasn't even i gotta tell you that wasn't the worst part no, the worst I know, part it's just all of it it is all of it but that was the worst parts because he could just say like oh well i was just you know whatever i was being a jerk right but like he's using specific things from his relationship yeah. and he's trying to get out of it. And it and basically just proves all of her friends. Right. Exactly. So yeah. now what do you do? You've probably stay with him. Okay, good. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's uh-huh. so great. I can't yeah. wait until he leaves you when he's ready mm-hmm. until he's a permanent citizen. Uh huh. Thank you. Uh, yeah. There's a there's definitely a trend with the Mohammeds on this show. You're not wrong. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, thank you so much for listening. If you're listening on uh, YouTube and you do not like the way we look, that is fine. Agreed. <laughs> Go over to audio and subscribe to us on anywhere you listen to podcasts. Or if you're listening to us on podcasts and you're like, what do these broads look like? Oh, my God. Noel, here we she's are really doing a sexy dance uh-huh, there. Here I am. Go over, oh, my God. Go to, <laughs> this is where we're getting all of our views. Uh-huh. <laughs> Go to YouTube and subscribe to Trash Talk Podcast, where you can not only get 90 Day Fiance, but you get Teen Mom Trash Talk and Catfish Trash Talk. Go to Patreon.com slash Trash Talk Podcast for all of our bonus content. Go to TracyCarnazzo.com for everything podcast related and my upcoming stand up comedy tour dates. And you can follow Noel at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You can follow me at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And you can follow the podcast at 90 Day Podcast on Twitter and Instagram. Also, give us a five star rating and an amazing review or leave a comment down. I was just going to say what's down below, down below, (laughs) leave a comment, subscribe and leave a comment. Tell us what you love about us. Tell us what you love about the show. Tell us what you hate. Only what you love. No, 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 because I'll delete that. Thank you so much. (laughs) Okay, bye. Bye.